On my very first porn set, we picked my stage name and it was Jenna Presley. Uh, from that point forward, I became very big very quickly. Brittany Delamora was just 18 years old when she starred in her first X-rated movie, launching a seven-year career in the adult entertainment industry. I was named Maxim's, one of Maxim's top 10 hottest porn stars. I was on Jenna Jameson's um, Playboy's TV show called American Sex Star. Brittany got her start in 2006. At the time, she was a college freshman planning on going into broadcast journalism and a dancer in a California strip club. While dancing helped pay for tuition, it also gave Brittany the attention she always longed for. The cheering and the applause made me feel good. It made me feel affirmed because I lived a life where I always felt like I was rejected and like I wasn't good enough and I didn't belong. One night at the club, two men asked if she was interested in filming porn. The next day, she was on a movie set at a home in LA. So I thought, okay, well, I'm already promiscuous. I take my clothes off for money. Why not take it one step further? I honestly thought, I'm gonna make even more money and I can still finish school. I didn't think that, that there were gonna be such horrible consequences. She was quickly caught up in the life of a porn star and all that came with it. The praise of an adoring audience, money, and recognition. Every time I got an award in that industry, it, it made me feel like I had accomplished something. But none of those things fulfilled her need for love. With each passing year, Brittany slipped further into depression. And although publicly I was smiling internally, I was hurting and I was crying and I didn't tell anybody. Every day, she used drugs to cope. I thought, um, as long as I can get high and feel anything other than depression, I can just at least get through this day. I felt horrible about myself on the inside. I hated myself. I couldn't figure out why I was alive. I couldn't figure out why I lived on this earth. I had no real purpose. I would wake up in the morning, get high, go have sex, collect a paycheck, and buy more drugs. Hoping to break the cycle, Brittany agreed to attend church service with her grandfather. She says her hope was restored that day. And that was something that I had lost over the years of being in the porn industry. And in life, I lost hope. And Jesus gave me hope. And so I prayed the prayer of salvation that day, and I was given a Bible. But Brittany never went back to church or pursued her faith and returned to the sex industry. I didn't know the truth. I was living in sin and darkness because the light hadn't been turned on in my life yet. Over three years later, Brittany was packing to fly to Las Vegas for a film shoot when she heard something. Before I leave for the airport, I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit and he said, bring your Bible. She took her Bible and during the flight, she started reading the book of Revelation. And at this point, I get to Revelation 2.20 and God is, uh, there's, he starts speaking to me through this verse. It says that I have this thing against you. He's talking to one of the churches that you tolerate this woman named Jezebel. She leads my people into sexual immorality. I've given her time to repent. And if she doesn't repent, I will cast her and her children into a sick bed. And I started crying because I realized in that moment that was my father in heaven speaking to me about the way that he felt about sexual immorality. And I had a conviction that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And I apologized to God and I, I asked him for forgiveness. Brittany cut all ties to the porn industry and started pursuing God and living her life for Jesus Christ. A year later, she met her husband, Richard. They now lead a young adults ministry as Brittany shares how God's forgiveness and unconditional love changed her life. Through Christ, I am able to see myself with love because for the first time in my life, I had found real true love. And it felt so good to know that 
Not only did my creator love me, but that he could love me even after every mistake I'd made in life, after every sin that I had committed, just after everything, like he loved me through it all. And that was a love so deep that I didn't even know existed. 